Are you looking for an easy way to organize all those machine embroidery files you've purchased over the years? Do you need a safe way to back up all your files? Or are you just getting started and want to build your design library as simply as possible? Back when I made a video about organizing and backing up your machine embroidery designs, I mentioned how there are subscription packages that will store your designs in the cloud or in the internet for you. Brother has the Art Spira app, and there's My so Net by the Viking and Faf group. But I've just learned of a new way that's not tied to any particular brand of embroidery machine. So I wanted to share this new company with you. It's called Eganizer, and it's for people who want a safe place to store all their digital design files without requiring a degree in computer engineering. In other words, it's easy to use just by clicking some buttons on the screen. This software is just launching, so you may not have heard of it yet. By the way, if you don't know what the cloud is or what cloud storage means, that just means that somebody is paying to have a large computer called a server store data on your behalf. You're not storing files on other people's computers. Your designs are stored on a secured data server, which is often backed up to multiple locations. And you need a password to access your files so other people can't get to them. Recent tragic events with crazy weather have reminded me that our files are not safe in our homes. No matter how many devices we might back things up to, you can lose all your data if your computer or devices get damaged. By uploading your files to the cloud, we can ensure we don't lose hundreds or even thousands of dollars worth of embroidery files. So let's jump in and see what you can do with the new Eganizer. Here on the Eganizer main menu, this is at Eganizer.com, and this is my library. And these are the designs that you're going to see me upload. I'm going to walk you through how to upload some of these, and some I've already put in there. And it just shows you the different designs. You can filter by different ways that you set up to sort things. I've got one applique thing that I've tagged applique. I've got several that I've put as in the hoop designs. Some are just regular embroidery files and you can also put tags on them. So let's see, I had a, a baby baby design. If you want to sit something for a baby, you can say, hey, these are all my baby designs. Um, same with, I like, I do a lot of in the hoop. So I've got an in the hoop um, and I need to actually, I've got too many filters on there. Clear it. Sometimes I just want to clear it from the beginning. Um, what are my puppet designs in here? I've got a couple. So just things like that. I've got several animals that I've uploaded. Um, I keep putting too many filters on. Animals. And you see the ones that I've tagged as animals. So you've got all of your library there. It also tells you how much space you have left over and I have quite a bit left after all of these. And these aren't just, here let me clear, I've got more than just that. Um, in my case, I'm not just uploading the designs, but in some of these cases, these are things like this one here, all of my digitizing files, all of my documentation, everything is in there. This is a really large folder with a lot of files and a lot of um, heavy graphics, but it, Eganizer doesn't care. It lets me upload all of that and it's gonna use up more space for me, but, but that's okay. This is actually a graphic. It's not even something for the machine embroidery, but you can upload graphics. You can upload, um, it doesn't really care what file you put in. It's just the embroidery files. It's going to give you the cute little design image thumbnail. And it's a good size too. I really like how that looks. And then it also tells you if you're on a free trial and she kind of extended my free trial in order for me to make some videos um, so that it doesn't cut off. I didn't have time to do it when, she, when I started. So she was nice and gave me some extra time. But, and then all of that, your menu is up here. You got a little hamburger menu. That's what this is called. And you've got different things that you can do here, which I'm gonna walk through these. To upload designs, you go up to the little hamburger menu up in the right and click on upload and it'll give you four different options you can upload a single design just one file you can upload a whole folder that has the same design but multiple files of that design so maybe different sizes or file formats you can upload a zip file which is great you can just purchase a, uh, your download download the zip file and then just upload the zip file to the Eganizer. You don't have to do anything else or you can upload multiple designs at once. So let's run through all of these. I'm going to start with a single design and it shows me I could go into these folders, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to select mini right here, which is just a single PES file. Open that up and what happens next is it's got one file selected here and then I click upload. 
and it uploads that file and if you want you can remove things and change what goes in there but I don't need to do that here I'm just going to hit continue and this is where you can tell it um, this is an applique you can um, just different tags and things I got this from creative fabrica you could put the designer in there let's see I do want to say this is for a baby design because it says mini and I've already got applique at the top so just different things and you can set up your own tags and categories here just by clicking on that and you can add your own in each of these I've added all of these myself because these are things that I do a lot of so I wanted to make sure I had categories for them you could go with the ones that are already built in you could create your whole new filing system this is all up to you do whatever you want um, let's see so I've got you've got to put oh and I forgot something this is very important and this is a little fussy I, I kind of wish that this worked differently I select applique here but I have to click this plus button so that it appears over on the side otherwise it won't work and you won't be able to get past this screen I would like it if I could just choose and then it accepts that because I keep forgetting to hit this plus button and it's getting kind of yeah I'm not loving that and then I've got the baby down here okay that's all I want so I'm gonna apply those tags and I get success messages and I'm not quite done I have to hit save and then it's gonna generate a thumbnail and that's just a little photo that shows you what that design looks like and that's one of the, the best features of the Eganizer in my opinion is you get that thumbnail that little photo of what your design is so if I go back to my library and show everything get rid of all the filters and everything clear all those selections and so now my library has this new one in there because I added that single file let's try it again with uploading a whole a folder it's still one design and in this case it only gives me the option of which folders were in there it's not showing me the zip files or the single files and let's do um, this one actually has multiple designs in it it's a collection this one here is just a Halloween bat design that has and it's asking me do you want to upload yes I do trust this site and it's gonna go and it's got 33 files selected so that particular design has a bunch of different file formats and sizes but it's still the same design so I click upload this one's going to take a little bit of time because there's 33 files being uploaded and that's pretty fast it's also going to tell me which um, design that it's going to use for the the thumbnail oh not on this one because it's all the same so if it had multiple designs it would ask me and here it's not going to I'm not going to make any edits I'm just going to continue and again this one is a regular embroidery and I got that from Creative Fabrica I've got that tab open for Creative Fabrica I don't know if you can see that this one is for Halloween which I had to add Halloween because it didn't have it in there but it had other holidays and I think that's really all I need for this one I guess it's a bat so technically I'll go ahead and put animal with it I would probably not search for that we've got my success messages that everything has been uploaded here's all the files that it's taken and I'm gonna save and it's gonna again generate one thumbnail but it's a whole folder with a bunch of different files in it we'll come back and look at that in a second let's finish some uploads so that's what the design looks like and the thumbnail that it's gonna show me the preview of but like I said it's got 33 different files in there if I were to click on it it would show me all of that we'll come back to that let's upload a zip file hit start on the zip file and go back to downloads and I have a couple of zip files up here let's do this anime eyes and click upload all right again continue and let's see this one is again an embroidery design again from creative fabric I did a bunch of downloads today in case you can't tell um, this one's kind of a Halloween but it's also like I think it's a, a girl peeking through I can't remember what that one is um, again you, tags are all up to you do whatever you want and apply the tags oh I forgot up here so again when you hit apply tags if you haven't done this plus sign it, it's just not gonna do anything so uh, it's a little fussy I again I wish that I can just select it here and not have to do those or let me skip that if I don't want it apply those tags 
and I'm going to save. It's going to generate. Oh, it's still processing, so I have to wait. Up to 30 minutes. That's a long time. Now it's ready. Okay. So it wasn't 30 minutes. That's only if you have a really big file, I guess. Generating thumbnail. And there it is. So yeah, it's a little girl like peeking through. You put it on your sweatshirt and it looks like she's peeking through. I think it'd be really cool on a black sweatshirt personally or a black t-shirt even. So that one's been added. And if I go look at everything and remove all of my filters, you see it shows up in my library there. Let's do that with the zip file. And then there's one more I wanted to show you. I'll upload multiple designs at once. And this is where if you already have a lot of files, you're probably going to want to do it this way. You do have to go and kind of edit your folders first and kind of clean them up if they're not well organized for this particular one. This has got several different designs and they were all just lumped in there. A lot of digitizers just throw everything all in one folder. It's hard to find what you're looking for. So I did go and separate out the different designs that I liked and the formats I liked and I put them in folders. So there are folders within a folder and you're going to see that in just a minute. So it's got 48 files. And when I hit upload, you can see that it's got folders for each of the different um, designs that I had in there. And Eganizer works with something it calls pods. And so each of these designs, it, it's smart enough to know that this is a pod, this cat moon is a design, and it's going to use one of these files for the thumbnail preview. But then it knows that, oh, this is a different design. I'm going to make this a different pod, and it'll give me a different thumbnail um, design image for this one. And all of these are going to have different design image thumbnails. So once we go to continue, and let's see, these are all embroidery files. Again, Creative Fabrica, and these were Halloween also. And then I don't think I need anything else there. Apply those tags, everything gets saved. Boop. And now see it's it's making several different thumbnails because I uploaded a folder that had multiple designs. Each of its designs was in a different folder and the Eganizer knows that and it gives me a different preview image for each one of them. So that's really cool. I don't know of other software that that works that way. Like if I were uploading things to Dropbox or my Google OneDrive or something like that, it wouldn't show me thumbnails at all because it can't read the embroidery files and it wouldn't be smart enough to know which designs, like how to break everything up. But the Eganizer does. So that's really cool. And that's how you can bulk upload a lot of things. You may have to clean up your file folders first and get everything kind of sorted the way you want it, but then you can upload a bunch of files at once using that, um, that last upload option. Once we have things in here, you have options to go and change what the thumbnail looks like. And for example, I did that on, let's see, on my puppet design, for example, um, it had it just chose one of the designs down here, but I wanted to have a finished photo. And for in the hoop projects, you might want to put the finished photo of that. Um, some digitizers will give you a photo in their zip file. I always do that, and you can just use that as the thumbnail instead. So that's what I did here. I actually was able to put a couple of photos. It will let you do that. So you can add photos for your different images here. You can also put notes in here. And I think this is really cool because I might want to leave a note like, I stitched this on such and such fabric with this stabilizer and I got some puckering and then I changed to another stabilizer and that worked better. So you can add notes for your designs and that's another cool feature to keep track of things. You can also delete designs here. You can either delete the whole pod or you can delete particular designs within the pod. Um, you can edit your tags here. This is the screen where you would be able to make changes to that design, yeah, change things here. And then, of course, if you want to download it, you just hit request. It's not really requesting. It's just going to download it. And a delete or, or request means download. So that is how that all works. I'm going to go back up to my library. And here's all the files that I have uploaded so far. And you saw how quickly it uploaded all six of these. And there's multiple designs and sizes in there. You can edit your thumbnail. And I've had to do this on some of them. I think I even had one. Let's see. 
I think I had one that was sideways. No, nope, I've already fixed it. But sometimes your images will upload, um, and they'll be sideways. And it's very easy to just rotate that and fix it. Very easy. If you wanted to maybe zoom in and make it bigger, you could do that too. And then just tell it, hey, I want to save this image. That It's very easy to use. So the software is it's really easy. Once you figure out how things work, and, and to go over here and different ways to upload, that did take me a little bit of time to figure out. But once I figured it out, there's four different ways and it does make sense. That worked great. Then you can go through and filter, like uh, what appliques do I have and different product types. You can add more over here. And I actually, I, I did add the in the hoop. I think I added that one myself. I even added printable and they've got SVG in there too. This is not just for embroidery files. You can also store your graphics, your cutting files. I've, I've got files that have nothing to do with machine embroidery that I've put in for some of my digitizing designs. And that works too, like Affinity Publisher files. It, it doesn't really care what file type it is. It just won't be able to show you a preview of files it doesn't know. And another cool feature that it has is you can share. I went over here to the menu and said share and library display name. You could say, uh, this is my, you know, whatever you want there. And then you would put a custom URL and let's see, I'm going to just put my name there. Let's see. Um, I don't want mine to be public. And this is a, a permanent link that you would be creating here. But what that allows you to do, I'm not actually going to do it because <laughs> I don't want those names on there. But what it allows you to do is you can give somebody else that link and they can see just your library, but they can't do anything to it. They can just see what designs you have in your library that you can stitch. So maybe you're telling your family, hey, I have like, you know, 20 different Halloween designs here's what they look like and they can go and look and pick the one that they want you to put on a shirt for them or a Christmas design whatever here's you know here's the fonts that I have available or here just things like that you can share it with your customers you can share it with your friends and family whoever it is you're stitching for they can look at what designs you have already bought and paid for and choose from your collection rather than you saying oh yeah go to Etsy and just pick a design and they'll be looking for hours and they're gonna they're not gonna do that um, so I like this better. I might even use this for my husband because he, he wants me to do some stuff for him, but he's not going to go and look. So I can find some designs for him, put them in here and let him pick and say, yes, I want that one, which is kind of what I'm doing with some of these. And that's how you use the Eganizer software. Once you learn where to put things and how to use it, it's pretty simple. I like the big graphical interface so I can see my designs and filter them to quickly find what I'm looking for. This is a neat way to keep your purchase designs organized and backed up. So what do you think? Would you use a website like this to store your design library? Leave a comment, tell me what your thoughts are. You can try out the Eganizer for a 30 day free trial and then pay for a subscription if it works for you. And if you're active on social media, Joy from Eganizer is looking for content creators to help her get the word out. So check out her affiliate program too. Let's help a new small business and get the word out about her new service for machine embroidery lovers. Don't forget to back up your files, folks, and I will see you later.